video we're going to talk about navigation menu and to get there we go to design navigation menu and what the navigation menus are are the ways to control how this menu looks normally when you have the Zen template and you first get your store you'll also have a menu up here but if you remember from the categories video we cleared out all our categories and started over so there's no menu up here anymore you can stick a menu up here usually just some quick links is what I usually do like about us contact us and stuff like that and make those the third category but we're not going to worry about that in this video we're just going to go over the different menu types for this nav menu one all the nav menus have the same menu type so it really wouldn't matter so right now it's set to list items let's change this to rollover colors and see what that looks like we'll set the alignment to vertical and the divider to none and click on save changes and then refresh and we have rollover color popouts with a bullet the colors come from here. You can just pick which color you want it to be, and it'll set it for you for that color. So if we click Save Changes now, we can have this super hideously ugly version of the same thing. And let's undo that real quick, like. we we'll just go in here and delete them. But you get the idea. So click Save Changes and reset that bad boy. And now let's take a look at rollover color popouts. Rollover color popouts are basically the same thing as rollover colors, but it shows the subcategory in a flyout. And it, you can set it to how many levels deep you want it to go. I wouldn't recommend going past two levels because it can get quite slow on page loads because of the number of subcategories that have to load every time. Two levels is usually deep enough. Don't forget to set the menu with it. In the case of the Zen template, set it to 162. We'll do two levels and we'll click Save Changes. We'll go over to the front and hit Refresh. Now we got our pop out. See here where it pops out. And you can go in here and control the hover colors so that kind of changes color. We'll do a light gray here in the background. We'll do a darker gray. Actually, we'll keep this as white. It'll look better for the hover. Save Changes. Refresh. And now, when you hover over it, we'll see a gray background. And the background here. And so that's roller curve popouts. We're not going to go into the rest of these. Links is basically just a straight set of links. Trees is, well, we'll go and look at trees real quick. We'll set the divider to none. And we'll set all that stuff to save changes. And we'll refresh and take a look at what the trees look like. And here's the trees. You can see that it shows the top level and then it shows the next level down into that top level. And it keeps going on and on. It just keeps going throughout the entire category structure. Rollover images and rollover BG images are the same as colors except they use images instead of text. We've already went over list items and links and that's actually all there is for navigation menus. In the next section we're going to talk about the new version 5 button chooser.